Assalamu alaikum dear all students welcome to BSS online education today our discussion will be on active to passive transformation of sentence active to passive and in this case we have to know the tense present past and future very well today our discussion will be on present tense so look at this slide this is the classification of present tense in, ca in case of transformation of sentence present simple present continuous and present perfect we don't need to transform the sentences in case of present perfect continuous or we don't do that so in case of present simple you can see on the screen the structure is object plus am or is or are plus v3 plus by plus subject Look at this example, active, he follows the rules, passive, the rules are followed by him. We can see that here in active, our subject has become our object in passive. He, that has become him, follows, that has become V3, followed, the rules has become my subject. He follows the rules, passive, the rules are followed by him. Let's go for the next slide. Present continuous. Object plus am being or is being or are being plus v3 plus subject. Look at the example. The world is going through a pandemic. In passive, it will be a pandemic is being gone through the world. So here, my subject, the world has become my object in passive, the world. And I have taken is being because my subject is singular. Then, I have taken the verb is going through, here going through, I, it has become V3, gone through. And then my subject, the world, is my object here. So, the example, the world is going through a pandemic, it has become in passive, a pandemic is being gone through the world. Let's go for the present perfect. The structure is object plus have been or has been plus v3 plus by plus subject example active our team has won the match passive the match has been won by our team here you can see same thing had has happened here our team has become our object in passive and the match the object has become my subject here has been or had have been it depends on the subject okay so in all if we will compare the three structures we can see that the common thing that is always we have to convert the subject as my object in passive and same goes with the object that will be my subject and there will be auxiliary verb that will be in case of present let's uh, let me show you again that in case of present simple it will be am is or in case of present continuous it will be am being or is being or are being and in case of perfect it will be have been or has been and in case of verb it will be always v3 same goes with the past and future if you want to convert active to passive you have to do the same changes in your structure so do practice at home best of luck